Let's talk about Wicked. That was a lot messier than I thought it was gonna be. All right, so yes, Wicked. Obviously, big deal for theater kids. I mean, it's one of the big ones that everybody always, if you were a basic theater bitch, you loved Wicked. And, uh, I loved Wicked a long time before I saw it. Um, my friend, who I first met on fanfiction.net, was really into Wicked. And I was a very supportive friend, and so I read her Wicked fanfics. Never having listened to any of the show. But I liked her writing, and I thought it was cool. And so I continued to read, which is how Amelia Earhart ended up married to Luke Skywalker. It was very confusing. It was, it was 2012. Bad excuses all of this. But yeah, so I ended up listening to Wicked because of her. Or not all of Wicked. I listened to like half of Wicked, and then I read the plot synopsis. I didn't go through the whole soundtrack. But I loved, like, a solid half of the soundtrack, and I had it memorized. I knew Popular, Defying Gravity, Dancing Through Life, No Good Deed, you know, I'm Not That Girl, all of the, all of the, all of the middle school wicked jams. But, you know, didn't get to see it. It wasn't going through town. But, freshman year, it came to Cleveland so excited, so begged my parents for tickets, and what they said was, oh Tessa, we're so sorry, it sold out, it was so expensive, it just can't happen, honey, I'm so sorry. If you remember the Beauty and the Beast episode, this is going to sound a little familiar to you. So, Christmas Eve comes, and it's a family tradition to unwrap one gift the night before, and it is always pajamas, so that when my mom takes pictures on Christmas morning, you are in nice pajamas, and so she can make sure you look presentable in your pajamas, because, you know, this is going on Facebook after all. But, anyways, so in the early morning, late morning, early afternoon, I'd say, they're just like, hey, let's open presents now, and my brother and I are like, what the fuck, but we go along with it because we open the present early, and so, I forget what they got my brother, probably Legos, May was this when Lego Dimensions was happening? This might have been the beginning of Lego Dimensions happening, um, does anybody else remember Lego Dimensions? If so, talk, tell my brother. Um, but anyways, so he had something and I got this really pretty, hold on a second. I got this, I got this really pretty purple dress. Um, it's kind of dark so it's hard to see exactly how pretty it is. It's got a big old bead. It's it still fits. What the fuck? What is this made out of? It doesn't say, but it still fits. That's what it's Six years later. But yeah. I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. If only I had somewhere to wear it to. And as I'm saying that shit, my mom is pulling out a fucking envelope from Playhouse Square. Yeah, Square, if you don't know, is the uh, big theater here in Cleveland. It's where all the tours go through. Um, it's why we've got, like, I think the second biggest theater district in the U.S. Not in mileage, I think, but in just, like, sheer amount of stuff happening. But anyways, so there were two tickets in the envelope for the matinee of Wicked later that day. I lost my fucking mind. And so my mom and I saw this! We saw Wicked! And it was so, so good. Um, 
let me check something because I might be wrong about this. Um, oh, we had one understudy, but it was for the fucking monkey. I mean, it, no offense, but that's not like, let me see um, if the one thing is true. And also you get a preview of another thing if I'm right about this or if I'm wrong about Nope. Nope. I'm wrong about this. It is not the same person. I thought it was the same person. Nope. It's okay. Both were amazing. Um, I thought there was one person who played both Alphaba and Elizabeth in If Then, when I got to see If Then. Not the case, but both were super duper good. Because this show, oh my god. A lot of shows that get super, super overhyped are just overhyped, and you don't see what the fuss is about, but Wicked is really good, you guys. It, it's not the deepest show. Um, you're not going to get a Pulitzer from this. You're, you're not going to be writing beautiful literary analysis, unless of course you were trying to do something comparing this to the original novel that it was based off of compared to all the previous sources. That's basically a thing Lindsay Ellis does anyways. Anyway, it's not the most profound statement being made by theater, but that doesn't mean I didn't cry like three times. Everybody was so good. The costumes, the fucking dragon clock. Um, it was just, it was so good, and I, I don't, none of you are from around here, but if you're ever in Cleveland around Christmas, get into Playhouse, do yourself a favor, it is one of the most gorgeous places I've ever been, um, at Christmas especially. It was a pretty, it was a pretty heckin' amazing time. Yeah, um, nothing too crazy exciting. Just my parents surprising me again with tickets to shows that I really want to see. 